Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today we're going to show you something really cool and interesting. First, take a second to go and hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, so that way you're up to tune with uh, all the newest videos I have coming out. And uh, now let's get on with this. So today we're going to look at the problem that everyone knows about and has heard about probably at some point in time, which is the uh, dilemma of if someone were to give you an option of two things, right? You get a penny doubled every day for 30 days, or you get a million dollars today. Which would you pick, right? So we're going to solve that, but we're going to solve it in R. We're going to show you a cool graph like this one down below. And I'm going to show you how to do that, all the code and everything involved in it. So first, let's start off here. What we're going to do is we're going to load our libraries, right? So our libraries are going to be Cable Extra, Tidyverse, and Scales. Cable Extra is not necessary, but I like to show my data in a pleasing way neat way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't have any of these, use the install that packages and then, you know, quotation marks and the name of the package and load it in. Okay, so those are the three. Next we're going to do is we're going to create our variables, right, which is these guys. So we've got penny. A penny is worth 0.01, right? Rate is going to be 100% because you're doubling it every day, right? And then the N, the N is your date range, right? So in this case, as you can see here clearly, we have 30 days. We're not doing 31, we're doing a typical month of 30 days, all right? And then Alt-1, what that is, it could be named anything, but that's where I'm putting the million dollars in because that one stays the same no matter what. If you took the million dollar option, you just get a million dollars day one, and it never changes. That's it. You don't get anything more versus the people that took the penny, had a penny doubled every day for 30 days. All right, so next what we need to do is we need to have our doubling formula. How are we going to double that? So that's this right here, which is where we're going to take in the value of the penny, which is 0 0.01, we just use it because it's a variable, times 1 plus the rate, rate is 100, okay, over 100, okay, so, um, and then that's to the power of 0 for n minus 1, so n minus 1 is the number of days, remember that, so that's what we have there, starting at 0 and going to n minus 1, and um, so you run that, then what we do is we'll do, we'll place a vector, this creates a vector, right? So if I were to run this, I could do it right now. It creates a vector where it's got all the values for every day in it, like an array. And what I need to do is I need to put that in a data frame here for us. So I'm using the data frame uh, function right here, data dot frame of the month of doubling, which is this variable right here, which or this vector actually that we just created. And I'm putting that into test data one. So if I click that, there's that. It goes in there. It's got 30 observations with one variable each. If I wanted to look at it, all I've got to do is highlight test data one. I can see it right there from the beginning to the end. So you see how it goes from 0.01 cents to 0.02 to 0 0.04, 0 0.08, 0 0.16, 0 0.32, and so forth. Okay. And obviously, at this point in the game, you know that the compounding really occurs later on. And then it goes to where, you know, your decision is going to be the million dollars is not the truest or best decision. So next we want to do is we want to rename the column, right? So because right now, look at the top of this. When you look at this, it's called month of doubling. It's kind of ugly. Let's just call that amount, right? So we're going to call it amount. And this is how you do that. Names, the names function of test data one. And we're, this is column one. So we're putting that one amount. Okay. This right here on the side is not a true column. It has no name to it. It's not a column. It's just the count. Okay. So we do that. And next we're going to do is we're going to take and add a column for the million dollar choice alt one, right? So we got to put that in. This is the, if you took a penny every other day, now we need to add the million dollars for every other one of those days in there. So what I do is I take alt one, which is our million dollars and just put that into a new column on this same data frame called test data one dollar sign million could be named anything but that's what i'm calling it so i've got amount which is the every other or er, doubling every day and then we've got million the million column which is just a million dollars throughout it next i want to create an index count because i want to be able to access these days and graph them like i did here so what i do is i take the uh, sequence dot int of the rows and row of test data one. By doing that, what it's doing is it's getting an index count of that and putting it in a new column called test data one dollar sign day, or day is the uh, name of that column. So if I were to go and look at test data one now that we've added those in, now I've got this amount, million, and day. 
Now, million is a numeric column, and it likes to put it as 1E plus 06. We could change it. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't care about that. I know it's a million dollars, and I know this has the cents in here. Okay. So next, let's go here. Now, in case your amount column is showing as uh, scientific notation also, which could be happening, depending on what you've run in R, what you want to do is options, digits equals 10, and that will set that back to this. So you'll have 10 digits. Okay. If it's not a problem, like it's not now, then you're good. Okay. Next, what we want to do is better way to look at the data with cable. So you don't have to do that. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take the head of test data one. The head is the top six comp or top six rows. We're going to put it into DF, which is a new data frame called DF, and they're going to use cable DF. Let me open this up so you can see it. Uh, cable styling, bootstrap options equals striped, font size equals 10, full width equals false. So by doing that, instead of just seeing it like you're seeing it here, now you see it over here like this. That's all. That's the only difference I did. You don't have to. That's not necessary, but that's how cable works to make things look pretty and neat. And it's nice when you have larger data and many columns to it to see it that way. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate both columns, right, because I want to see both the million-dollar choice and the uh, penny doubled per day mashed up against each other in ggplot. So this is how we do that. This big little, or not huge, but this this uh, snippet of code right here. So we're doing is ggplot, the ggplot function, plus geomline, because we want a line plot, right? We don't want a bar graph in this case. Aesthetics are y equals amount, x equals day, size equals 0 0.8, color is blue for test data 1. Remember, that's for the amount. Now, remember, we also have the million column, right? So we have to add that in, plus geomline. See, so we've got two geomlines, aesthetics, y equals million, x equals day. So it's the same thing, except the difference is this one has million, this one has the amount column. See that? Okay. And then you have same thing, size equals 0.8, color equals red. So you got colors blues for the first one, for the amount, colors red for the million, data equals test data one. And then you've got, after that, you're going to do this plus the scale continuous. Okay. So watch what happens here. I'm going to do that. I've got this. It's still a little ugly. It's all right. We're going to work on it. I'm not done yet. But we've got the amount. We know that that's going to be a million here. We know that this one's going to be the doubled every day. You can see the exponential growth at the end. You can see at the very end, last couple days, it beats the million. Okay. But let's go make it look pretty because obviously you wouldn't want to send this to somebody. You'd be like, that, that looks like juvenile graphing right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that that we did and we're going to add in the labs function or labels function. And what we're going to do is we're going to add it a title right here, penny doubled for 30 days versus the million up front, a subtitle, which tells us exactly, you know, blue is the penny doubled, red is the million up front. Um, and then the X, we want it labeled day, the Y we want labeled amount. We want a caption at the bottom, which will show, you know, where did this data come from? I'm making it up. It's XYZ Incorporated. It could be anything. Okay. It gives you a good uh, template also for when you do graphs that you do bring in stuff correctly and display it correctly. Then the theme right here, 0 0.5 for height adjust, uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.9 for the element text for the caption because the caption, I don't want it in the middle. I want it to the right, but I don't want it all the way to the right. So you're going to see how I do that in a minute. 0 0.5 will be the center of the title and the subtitle. Um, then we've got scale breaks, 0, 31, right? Because we have starting at 0, we end at 30, and I want to see every day. I don't want. I could have it every 5 days if I wanted to, or every 10 days of what they show by default down here. But then I don't have an exact... I don't know, did that happen on the 28th that it broke through that? The 27th, I want people to see it exactly, so I want every day. That's why it's 0, 30, 1 there. Then we've also got the scale for the other side, which is the Y continuous, right? For uh, comma breaks equals sequence of 0 to 6 million, and I want to show a line every 500,000. That's what I did there. So see how I did that? So now by doing that, all I've got to do is take the LG1 I have from above, do this, control, enter, and looky there, you have a nice graph that shows 
um, the title, the subtitle, it gives you exactly what's going on. Remember, this is not a legend because I've got two different lines from two different geom lines in there. Okay, but I do have the amount going from zero every breaks at 500,000 on up to 5.5 million. I've got clearly the million right here. I know that. I've got the days all the way out. It looks a little bit ugly, the day part right now, but if I go and split this out a little bit, there we go. It looks a little bit better. And what you can see clearly right here is if we look at this, the 27th, remember that is right here. The 28th is right here. So it breaks out right on the evening of the 27th. And, uh, you know, from then on, clearly a decision of you know, whether to take the million dollars or the penny doubled for 30 days is clearly the penny doubled every day for 30 days would be the uh, best choice. So it shows you the end power of exponential growth at 100%, which is huge. Um, stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to have another video that's going to go on to compound interest and why you should not be leaving your money sitting in a bank account earning very little interest and the importance of getting you know better interest and better returns on your money over time but this one was just to do the argument of which is better the penny double for 30 days or a million dollars up front you can clearly see uh, which is better here based on that now I could go into it if you wanted to see exactly what the cable thing I did earlier if I just take cable of the test data one and I were to do this I can show you exactly how much it grows on each day remember this the million field is a million all the way down but the amount you can see how it grows and doubles and as it starts to get into higher amounts it looks like it's never gonna get there right you're at forty dollars you're at eighty dollars but if you keep growing and you keep doubling it you get to a point down here where all of a sudden you're at 670,000, the next double takes it to what, 134, well, 1.34 million, where you bust through the uh, the million at 28th day, which is what we said. Then you're at 2.6 million, then you're at 5.3 million, and that's just 30 days. What if it was 31 days a month? Well, then you'd have $10 million at the end of that. Obviously, you'd have one more row down here. But I want to show you that where it happens and. Um, that clearly you can see either in this way, if you want to see the exact numbers, and you can also see it on the graph right here, which shows you undoubtedly that on day 28, the uh, decision to have the penny double for 30 days is clearly the better choice. And this is kind of cool because it does it in, the math proves it, and it does it in R and in a data science kind of uh, view or process to see this. Well, I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and be sure and share this on social media so other people can benefit just the same as you have. It's some interesting, really cool stuff. Data science and coding does not have to be boring at all. It can be really fun and interesting. And not only that, all these processes I'm using in all of my videos are actual processes that we utilize in the real world in data science. So with real business use cases, because you may not necessarily be looking at a penny doubled, but you might be looking at, you know, maybe a change that you know that causes a 10% increase in buyer activity. Well, think about it. That could be translated to sales. And then you can look at, okay, if we did this every month for 30 months, what would that do? And that's kind of how this works. Instead of 100% growth every day, you would have 10% growth per year, and then you would change the days two years so the end would become years instead of days but that's exactly how these things work so all these processes on my channel are great for you to use they're real business use cases and they will take you far in life as people will become more interested in what you just the stories that the data that you use tells hope you found this interesting thanks again please subscribe like and share and have a great day